In a follow-up to a story about a person dying after driving a vehicle off the pier in Virginia Beach, WAVY-TV is reporting the medical examiner's office will determine who was in the car that drove off the fishing pier on Saturday, January the 27th. But the TV station also reports that when police receive that information, it's likely that they won't release it to the public. Now, a spokesperson with Virginia Beach Police confirmed to WAVY on Monday, January the 5th, that they do not plan to release the name as the incident appears to have been a deliberate act. As of Monday, Virginia Beach Police were still awaiting the medical examiner's report. On Saturday morning, January the 27th, the driver crashed through the metal gate at the entrance to the fishing pier, then continued the full length before driving off the edge into the water. It took almost a full week before crews were able to recover the vehicle because of unfavorable conditions in the water. Police did confirm a body was found in the vehicle, which was identified as a red Nissan Kicks SUV. Somewhat early in the investigation into the incident, police said that they were contacted by the family of a missing man and confirmed that there were many similarities to facts and circumstances. WAVY reached out to police following the vehicle's removal on Friday, January the 2nd to ask if they would be releasing information about the person who died. They said that they do not anticipate that they will disclose a name. WAVY also heard back from a city spokesperson on Monday the 5th with new information about the pier inspection. According to Brian Clark, there are no obvious signs of damage on the sand side from what staff members could tell from the land. The city is waiting to receive an engineer's report to determine if the structure needs any repairs before it will be allowed to reopen.